Hello everyone, today I will be telling you about milk fever symptoms and treatment methods in buffaloes. Symptoms The very first symptom is an unsteady gait. You may notice it during the day. Soon the buffalo lies down, and if you feel her ears they will be cold and usually droopy. After calving I check my buffalo's ears hourly, and have been known to sleep in the barn. If the buffalo is on her feet, early symptoms include paddling with the hind feet and swaying as if she is about to fall over. Once down, she will twist her head and neck to the side, as if there were a kink in her neck. Her nose becomes dry. Another warning signal is if your buffalo, which was bright and active caring for her newborn calf, becomes listless and inattentive. This could be a symptom of any malice, but at this particular moment in your buffalo's life, suspect milk fever. Treatment Milk fever rarely strikes a first caver. But any dairy buffalo should be monitored every few hours from the time she starts calving onward, through the day after calving. If you see the described symptoms, act. Milk fever does not go away by itself. The longer you wait, the more severe the treatment must be, and the greater the chance of losing your buffalo. Call the veterinarian. I find that not all veterinarians react in the same way to milk fever. If yours has a large animal practice, meaning that he specializes in cattle and horses, he will think nothing of injecting the necessary calcium gluconate or calcium magnesium gluconate solution into your buffalo's vein. If he is also the type to show up promptly, I would summon him and let him undertake the treatment. Some large animal vets have a pretty laces fair attitude because they see so many buffaloes and don't realize how much your buffalo means to you. They may arrive late and play down the need for treatment. The small animal man may suggest you drive to his dispensary and pick up a calcium tablet, or if he comes, he may suffuse the injection under the skin rather than into the vein. He is certainly unaccustomed to buffaloes and may be afraid of them.